Hello. Good morning, afternoon, evening, good day to everyone. Once again, here we are with this most amazing, beautiful, I don't know, energy package here called Yay. Will Lily Wong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not a clue as usual, but what is going to be shared, but with our heart open to just uh, uh, interpret whatever is passing through our body, mind, spirit, emotions. And uh, you know, Lily, uh, recently in the last few, um, maybe weeks, maybe months, probably more weeks than months, I'm receiving so many uh, messages and questions of people that are literally completely lost. Mm. And I get all giggly about it. I say, that's ex exactly what you need to be lost. You know, <laughs> that's the key, right? We need yes. to be allowed to be lost and befriend with the idea of being lost. Yes. Um, and they, because they cannot grab anymore the uh, parameters of the old, you know? Because what happens is that when our frequencies raise, rises, uh, and our vibration increases its its speed because we are becoming more aware and we are kind of uh, letting go of our old fears. Yes. Uh, what happened, I have the feeling that our vibrational offer become like a transportation, a, a vehicle, mm -hmm. which trans transfer us into a different version of this planet, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and in this different version of, the, of, of this Earth hologram, all of a sudden, many old rules are not longer applicable. You yeah. know, they are they are so, obsolete. They are completely obsolete. Yeah, they, and they it's, don't it's work. Not, they're not needed, and nothing. It's time to create a new reality. And yeah, that that can be challenging because we're used to uh, even <laughs> Google, right? I want to know right. something I go on Google. So right now, there's no Google answer for this. <laughs> no, no. Everything is within and you need to allow it to happen. And you're absolutely right. It's exciting in this moment. And I feel like I recently, I have this, this, this feeling or this sentence and I was like, oh, I love it because it's, release what you know so you can start vibrating the unknown which yeah. is the new yeah and already that is different is stop yeah. doing what you know release your concept of what you know and there is no more so you become no so you start vibrating because the new you need to you need to become it you need to be one with what is coming but if we are attached to we don't want to release yeah what we know that becomes that then becomes a challenge then becomes a a fight absolutely and it's uh, it's no longer possible to create future mm -hmm. or to plan or anticipate our mm -hmm. path except for short period of times you know yeah uh, forget about really... those questions about what do you think you would do in five years and then right. what do you think you would no, do in no. 10 years it's it's already hard to say what you're gonna do in 10 hours <laughs> exactly. so that's that's we need to let go of the future uh, oh, another thing i notice is impossible is to do multitasking multitasking mm. it's mm. it's not possible i just have to do one thing fully dig into it and Presence. be deeply profoundly connect to that thing mm -hmm. uh multitasking doesn't really well, it gets very chaotic if i start to do many things at the same time it just mm -hmm. just my system my whole cellular structure says no no more multitasking mm -hmm. um and of course it becomes more difficult if not impossible to connect with people who refuse to change mm -hmm. and they continue to sponsor you know uh, narratives that are based on fear or low emotions because their vibration are not are now too low and they can no longer enter our own uh, uh, vibrational uh, range yeah 
It just, it's even, it's physical, right? It's like, I always see like, uh, if we have cables, so if in your cable you're allowing a different type of current, you cannot put the old cables into the new. It's, it's, yeah. it's just, it, it, it creates a shock. Yeah. Uh, already this, I mean, letting uh, go, of, the, of course, of the past and the future and letting go of the people that we often love so much, but they are certainly not, they're not just ready to make those changes that we are actually doing. That's already is overwhelming for mm -hmm. most of the people. They, they just go into panic. They go, just go in, in, into the fear mode themselves. And then, they, of course, they they go back to the, the old uh, planet right mm -hmm. away. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, love, but you say something interesting here about love and it's not about you know like the fact that we might not be in uh, uh, creating something because of the different frequency doesn't mean or we need to move uh, separate ways <coughs> in this moment it doesn't mean that it's a lack of love no that I feel it's, that is important to mention because sometimes I, oh, yeah. I have to let, no, love is, love is so beautiful that it's love. The more you love, you more, the more you can be uh, able to discern to say in this moment, it's not good for me to be there or it's not good to be with this person, but it's not a lack of love. No. In fact, we are, we are, uh, uh, suggesting a higher level of love <clears throat> mm -hmm. an unconditional love because <clears throat> excuse me uh we need to release the the need and the desire that our loved ones understand or change or feels better or feel happy um and uh, as well as uh, you know the the constant effort to constantly try to find solution for them that might mm -hmm. also be of support for them but they are I, mostly all when the people are not ready for the solution. I got into the dark all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah, uh, now we go. <laughs> yeah, it's just the wind. They keep closing the wind. <laughs> there we go again. Um, hold on a second. There we go. So, um, because we are, I see myself also <clears throat> doing that with <clears throat> my <clears throat> dear ones. Uh, and I notice that when I offer a solution, uh, that solution is interpreted as an attack. It's true. It's as true. a criticism, you know. It's and true. they create it's created immediately a defensive, contracted mm -hmm. response. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So those are responses that are a sign that they, they our loved one is to uh, is not ready to let go at the whatever narrative they have, the, the victim, the self-pity, the, the the sorrow, whatever, and they're not willing to release and let go the mm -hmm. anger that often is consuming the, their mm -hmm. uh, life forces. Mm -hmm. And so we need to have that love that is so strong that <clears throat> respect and honor mm -hmm. that situation. Uh, and that's a uh, require quite quite a mastery because also we are you know um, going through the attachment that we have with th those people we love and we feel sorry for them. Uh, but if we raise our frequencies, we see the perfection in everything. We just exactly. see the perfection in the journey of this soul who is just right now navigating into the uh, into the the frequencies that uh, where he or she um, can learn uh, mm -hmm. as much yes. we did in the past ourselves. Mm -hmm. so, I, I remember very well, uh, you know, because that I feel that's one of the most um, challenging parts of also of going into the new vibration. And the nearer the person is with you in, 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 in your daily life, the harder it is to see or to notice, you know, uh, for example, I have different tools or I have different stuff, but if they don't come and ask, it's not, oh, you have to convince someone about it because it doesn't work. 
because it's the same when someone asks me, hey, well, you see all the energies and so on, and you know how to harmonize it. Can you do it for me? I said, no, I could, but I'm not going to do it because that's taking your power away. And sometimes we believe that by helping what we think are helping them, uh, it's, it's actually going to uh, not allow them to go through their own process of evolving and ascension the way they have planned it to go through. So, yeah, I feel that's, uh, that, that's challenging. And we go back to love. Because the more I have love for myself, the more I vibrate love. And that's the only thing I can share. So it's not yeah. about doing, it's not about talking, convincing. But if I start vibrating, as I said before, I vibrate the unknown, I vibrate the new, I vibrate the new octave <clears throat> of love. <coughs> that is going to contage. Yeah. And that might be a catalyst, that may be something uh, inviting some others to do things, but only that by vibrating, by being it, by being this new. And a lot of times it's just in silence. And just being it. And it's so powerful. Yeah. It is. And it comes sometime the point the moment where you just have to let go and also uh, kind of create distance from from uh, <clears throat> the situation. Because sometimes the ego is so uh, is so much uh, deeply taken over the situation, but no matter what you do. Uh, immediately a, a narrative is projected on you. So even if you stay still, mm -hmm. oh, you don't love me. You're not saying <laughs> anything and you don't love me. Then you say something, uh, you know, oh, you're attacking, you're offending me because, you know, <laughs> so it doesn't matter how you juggle. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's a really sign you say, okay, uh, I'm here anytime. Uh, my, my support is available, but is offered only when there is an official request, exactly. an invitation. Okay. Uh, and even, even when there is an invitation, there has to be applied a great discernment uh, and uh, really uh, monitoring uh, uh, the vibration of the person that is asking for help and if she or he has a sincere willing to, with great humbleness and honesty to make the necessary changes, uh, you know, that can take place. Uh, and all we can do is just be an example. Mm -hmm. uh, we cannot be a savior, of mm -hmm. course. Uh, we can share our feelings uh, and maybe some ideas of how we would handle the situation, but uh, we cannot take the power away from the person. The message is, oh, poor girl, uh, I'll do it for you. That's not love. I can say, hey, you are a master. I see in front of me a god or a goddess, and I stand for your greatness. So I, all I can do is to share how I am dealing with the situation mm -hmm. and I, because that's all I can offer. But I know that you can do it because the universe never gives you more than what you can, mm -hmm. you can, uh, you can do. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, and it's a it's a step by step. Yeah. Look, whenever I talk about this subject, for me, it's uh, it's a reminder because, you know, uh, before I start all this uh, beautiful path, uh, I used to uh, believe I I was like a know it all. <laughs> Lily, I know it at all. <laughs> That's a very, very bad point of <laughs> being somewhere because then you don't, you don't evolve. But the, the point was that right. a lot of people would come yeah. to me for, for advice and hey, Lily knows it all. She will give the best advice, you know. She will come with all the problems and I will give them step by step with the solution yeah. to that problem. You know, and in a linear way, it seemed that the solution for, for what they were looking, the problem would solve. But then, days later, months later, they have a situation very similar. And I was like, how did that happen? <laughs> <laughs> 
And it was, it was like, oh, when I realized this, when I put myself into the, I know nothing. And I just put in the, in this situation of, oh, and then this, uh, a lot of the same people will come to ask me to give them a solution. And I say, well, you know, I can help you to feel more your intuition. So you can have your own solution. I say, no, no, give you yours. <laughs> no, I learned my own lessons about it. I think it's the most uh, selfish, egocentric thing to do. I'm taking the power away to do. I was, oh my God, I'm such a, you know. And uh, when you notice, well, you know, now I'm laughing about it. It's that was the way I, I, I survive in my own. I create my own persona into it. And then I release it. And I remember this person say, but I might take, oh, I was shocked when she answered that. She said, but I might take a solution that you uh, didn't think is the right one. I said, who cares what I care? <laughs> you know, it's going to be yours. Now it's up to you to take it. And yeah. I, 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 for me, it's so, so precisely. And this is also when people come uh, in personal sessions and so on. I say, no, no, I, I'm, I'm just a medium. I'm going to give you the message maybe just for now. The more you evolve, then you're going to, you, the thing is that you're going to empower yourself. I'm going to help you to empower yourself. So the more and more you release, and I'm going to give you tools, but the tools is for you to use. With the, with it's, uh, so you have something to keep on your path, but the solutions, you're going to have to find it. And the decisions, what to do, they're yours to take. And that was, I felt also very empowered when I could release that position of knowing it all, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So this new uh, Earth Dreams uh, is coming with that release, the release of the future and past, release of attachment uh, with the uh, old idea of what love is mm -hmm. and the embrace of uh, a love that is a celebration of freedom. Mm -hmm. um, and also the embrace of the mystery and, as you said, of not knowing, releasing the idea that we know, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, ra rather than using the idea of knowing, just using uh, the resonance and dissonance uh, meters in order to navigate through the journey. So it's not about, oh, I know this and that, therefore I do it. It's more like I feel that this is where I want to, it's what I want to experience, where I want to go now. Yeah, it's like a difference between knowledge and wisdom and knowledge is something you know because it's here and that's the rules and this is what you google and yeah. wisdom is what you feel wisdom is something that takes all over you that vibrates in you and say this is it and it's it's another kind of knowing but but it's like i'm going this way because it's it's something there is Nothing can tell you the not. You can have many arguments, but when you feel it, when it's something within you, when it's wisdom in you, you say, this is it. There is no questions. There are no more questions about it. You just go. You just know, but from a wisdom, not from knowledge. Yeah. Right? And, and that's, that's something we need to train. I feel, and we are so much powerful that when we sometimes allow us to believe. It's also uh, no longer possible to be in uh, disharmony or out of integrity with our true essence. Mm -hmm. So we cannot longer perform functions that do not support unity, that do not support love, they do not support evolution. They do not support the good of all. 
Um, so we will have to let go all this uh, scarcity, survival base, uh, jobs and activities, uh, uh, the art of uh, doing business, which is the foundation is most of the time, not always, but most of the time is very manipulative and very sneaky, mm -hmm. you know, the, the profit at, at any cost and start to completely let go of that because that's not sustainable in the, the world that we are embracing as we've raised up our frequencies. So there's a lot of things that are changing. So uh, if in this period, people find themselves no longer able to do what they have done so far, and they feel that they no longer know what they are going to do in their paths, that's a good sign. Yes. It means they are transitioning yes. and they're moving towards a version of the human experience that embraces a softer and more gentle level of duality. Mm -hmm. um, so we need to allow the unknown to embrace us completely. Uh, we need to align ourselves with the, with the here and now and give our complete trust to the mystery of life Mm -hmm. which is our natural state of being. It's uh, our natural state of... Uh, is that natural state of being that we abandoned thousands of years ago in order to navigate through the lower frequencies, have some interesting experiences in the, in the frequencies of separation, and now we are finally embracing them again and we're activating them again. Yeah. We are ready. <laughs> we are ready, yes. <laughs> Yes, we are. And the new world, and many, many people ask me, so Marco, how is it going to be this new world? <laughs> how is it going to be? What is? What does it mean? Yeah. You know, in what way is it going to be different? Well, you know, I'm sure you have your own ideas about it, your, your own feelings about how this amaz amazing, uh, I don't know if you want to call it 5D world or whatever label you want to get, you don't have to label it, but this new earth, um is going to present itself which is our natural way of being just we have temporarily forgotten mm -hmm. uh but is a free holographic society you know uh, where we will have access to true knowledge right unlimited resources absolutely uh, um we will again dropping completely the this uh, belief of lack and scarcity will be completely gone uh we will have access to interaction with other star species other yeah, expressions bigger party. <laughs> <laughs> we will have more colors colors we have forgotten that exist mm -hmm. uh and our consciousness will be able to capture a wider range of 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 so many informations mm -hmm. uh we will see for example better in the darkness mm -hmm. in the dark um we will uh, our things will be more sensitive for example we will be able to detach if there is uh, printing in a paper or not mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. um we will have telepathy um and the interaction with nature is going to be phenomenal. I mean, uh, our interaction with the mineral kingdom, with the vegetable clean kingdom, with the plants kingdom, with the animal kingdom is going to be so, so fascinating, so full of love, so full of co-creative information, such an amazing dance with the insects, with the trees, you know. It's going to be like an orgasmic interaction with all this beautiful <laughs> all <the> time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So uh, it's uh, an imag imagination is not going anymore to be um, interpreted as a fantasy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We have been mm -hmm. programmed to believe that imagination is a fantasy. Imagination is the basic foundation for a new for creation. creation. Claro. That's, that is the source is talking to us, <laughs> you know. And I don't even want to get into the avatar. What is going to happen to our avatar? <laughs> well, what is <laughs> happening already with the avatar? But right. uh, yeah, I, I feel we're going to um, see sound and hear color. 
you know, yeah. just going to, to, to that for me, it's the, the sum up what you just said, because there's so many, so many things, but as we are so used to just see with our eyes, now you're going to, you're going to see with your ears, you see, yeah. you're going to, you, you, you're, you're going to smell with your eyes. I mean, we go into places where it's hard to um, comprehend if we don't release the box, if we don't release what we know, when I said at the beginning. Yeah. Because there are places that we're just going to get to know right now. There's places as, that it's, the change is happening right now. And as you mentioned, as for the avatar, my body is having the deepest changes ever. And I know I feel it. I see it. It's it's like, whoa, <laughs> there is a preparation at all levels. And and when where I notice it the most is exactly what you're saying. My connection with nature, it gets deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. <laughs> and it's like, oh, my God, it's such a beauty that in it. My heart expanded in the deeper connection that I can get with any kingdom. And I feel also Gaia in its cycles. It's going to another in another octave. So when I go and connect this, there's a new element. What I knew as a fire, now it's another kind of fire. What I knew as a wind is another kind of wind. And my own avatar is a new it's everything is upgrading and if you allow it start to observe it don't don't try to look for the answer outside it's okay everything is changing observe it don't get in panic it's everything is like everything is moving so start to relearn it's like oh with with this new avatar well, maybe I can move my fingers a little bit longer. No, let's try but gently. <laughs> like this. <laughs> you know, it's what else? There's, there's a new avatar. What, what, what if I eat this different? How am I breathing? Am I breathing different? What's my connection? It start to re be like a kid when it's opened the eyes for the first time here on this planet. I feel that's how we need to see it again, open up and try touching things again, try moving. What can I do? So the more I allow myself to vibrate this new, the more I'll know, oh, this is how it works now. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this. Yes, I can, I can hear the colors. I can see the music and so on. You know, when I uh, landed here, <laughs> um, I, it took me a while to adjust because all these, uh, my range of uh, perception of the reality was, and it took me a while to understand just that, it was wider than the common, uh, uh, human, uh, I would see, or I would see uh, um, all kind of frequencies. Um, and for example, in the in the uh, just to give you an example, in the in the topic of opposite sex, I remember the first uh, good twenty years of my life, I was always in love, always. Every I was in love with every lips, every eyes, every <laughs> cheek, every everything because I would see so much more information than mm, just what so was the uh, and so I would see the aura, I would see the soul, and instantly I would fall in love. Mm -hmm. uh, and it took me a while to realize that what I would see and what was the mm, the present uh, personality structure were not necessarily a match mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that would buffer me it would it would uh, I, I would be very confused because mm -hmm. wow she is so beautiful and then i would talk to her i would come close and 
stuff would come out, beautiful stuff, nothing wrong with it, but, <laughs> in the lower but not system. coherence, not, com- not in coherence with the whole structure. Right, exactly. So it took me a good 20, 25 years to uh, manage this uh, discrepancy from what I would see and feel and, and uh, also the emotion that would uh, uh, create on me the presence of this goddess and then understand that the goddess that I, I saw in her, whoever was her in that moment, was a, a beautiful uh, potentiality that wasn't necessarily just yet uh, eradicated in her personality structure. And mm-hmm. so I would have to back off and say, mm-hmm. okay, uh, but it, it was really tricky for me. Oh, know? I can imagine. I can imagine. Definitely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Yes, and I think I, that's I that's that. even even in 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 a very subtle way. Most of the people, when uh, there's this attraction, but when there's really love, there's there or, or when they feel something, it's more energetically. It's more what they feel than rather what they just perceive. It's it's so bigger. But when you can see that, what you're just saying, absolutely, because. Uh, there is, a, a, this is exactly what we're learning to become more coherent within our energy field and consciousness field, all, all the potential in flesh, in the action, in the yeah. breathing. Yeah, so I very much uh, look forward to the time where the what I have been seeing mm. all my life here on planet Earth will be a match of the physical representation mm. So that I can really, we can really play because until now it's been yeah. diffi- very difficult and complicated to really play as somehow I knew we used to play before uh, this uh, uh, temporarily restricted experience. You know, the, the sexuality, the, the, um, the, in- the intimacy, the interaction here is so uh, perverted and uh, twisted and complicated yeah. and full of fear, full of uh, judgment. Uh, and for me, it was like, what's sweet, going sweet on? <laughs> right. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't imagine. Well, yeah. we're going there. We're going there, Mark. We're doing everything with that. <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, now I am. Uh, I passed that fa- phase, thank God, because it was uh, an intense phase. Oh, I can believe uh, that. And I would, I would put that, uh, that um, uh, experience into the music. Mm. because I would uh, use music to uh, uh, try to open up uh, uh, a portal between the personality structure and what I would see, Mm. okay? Mm -hmm. Uh, And this is not only related to uh, a romantic relationship, but also uh, related to the fear and the pain that the collective that was around me was Mm -hmm. constantly sponsoring and and, uh, accepting and producing. So I would go to the music in order to uh, break through that uh, veil and and uh, show and through the f- power of vibration of music, in my case, music, melodies and whatever, uh, I would uh, attempt to say, hey, look, this is love. Can you feel it? Uh, mm-hmm. That's what you, are, what you are feeling right now is not real. This is what is real, you know? That's what mm-hmm. I would do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a very powerful, the art, um, because... They are uh, they, they are less veils, right? They're less yeah. veils. Um, I, I have to go back to this right now. For me, that's why the 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 eye language, the sound of consciousness of Timalu, mm. it's so powerful because it's cosmic universal love, the essence of Timalu. Therefore, it breaks through any kind of limitation, any kind of layer. So when I just vibrate Timalu and I put it into the room, Timalu, Timalu, I'm, I'm, I'm exactly with the same purpose of you with the music. It's like feel, this is different. And because it's not the same like what we were saying, I'm not trying to help you or this because it's just vibration. There's no resistance. And it's just, it's, 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 <clears throat> not even energy, we're talking about so high consciousness that there is no resistance and it comes in it and I can see how it starts to diluting whatever kind of resistance, whatever kind of blockages is 
Ti Malu. And it's like, oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> and and this is how I can share, right? It's just from my own. And the, the and it's strength than the energy field. So what I feel with the Ti Malu, it's the the exactly that part, what you were saying, uh, Marco, about what you could perceive, it gets stronger. So when I, I, I when this is filled with cosmic universal love, the Timalu, suddenly that structure that it's not coherent start to get more incoherent. It start all the layers start to be more coherent and expressing more the true soul in this uh, physical avatar, as you call it, in this physical container that we have. And it goes back to love. It's go back to a higher vibration of love. Because um, this is also, as human beings, what has been misinterpreted. Because you can love so much. It doesn't mean that it has to have any kind of relationship of any kind. And sometimes it's co-creative. So it, there's some, we put again love in boxes of oh well you know oh my girlfriend or oh, my partner or <laughs> you know mother or oh, my sister and it's like love is infinite why do we put a box into it why do we want to have one thing also oh well if you know the the part is like well are you uh homosexual uh, are you uh one sexual bisexual three sexual it's like why do we want this it's just I mean, love, and sometimes it's the love gets more physical with, with the soul that it's here too. So that that complemental expression of love, it's time we release it. Yeah. So we become more coherent with that higher container that it's waiting for us. Yeah, in fact, uh, in regard of this topic, I am now... It's been already a while, but I'm in a state of, of total appreciation and gratitude because I understand the value and the lesson that I had to learn when mm -hmm. I came with that uh, uh, um, characteristics of being able to capture so many aspects of the non-physical aspect of a soul. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and uh, at, at first feeling lost in it and uh, having to recognize the differences and now being able to master, mm -hmm. so still able, able to recognize the soulfulness of the person, but also have the master uh, the allowance to uh, play small for, for the sake of having some experiences in those frequencies without judging them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, because often in, in, in the romantic relationship, I see uh, sometimes I see some amazing goddess that take my breath away and then I see their life uh, playing so small mm -hmm. or maybe being attached to a uh, man that don't seems to be a match at all you know <laughs> and I, I, sometimes I, I remember in the past I say why is such an amazing beautiful woman <laughs> it's coupling with this I mean it's a lovely guy but it's really <laughs> not even a fraction of her power you know uh, and then I learned to uh, understand that there is a perfection in everything, and there is a, there are contracts, there are uh, exchanges that needs to be uh, done at different levels, and so uh, it's important to remove the judgment and and see the perfection once again in everything, and see uh, that everything is in divine, uh, in divine uh, uh, shape, in divine uh, timing. And so it's all good. But uh, it took me a good 25, 30 years to really. Uh, uh, master that uh, I'm still working on it of course but now it's much much easier for me you know <laughs> yeah yeah no I, I I understand but for me I got into the understanding of synchronicity how synchronicity is not everybody going in the same path or doing the same path but sometimes uh, the, 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 the synchronicity happens because everybody is doing 
their own path. And some is straight, someone is like this, someone is like this. One right. is going very fast, the other one is going very slow. And I feel sometimes in relationships, they, these two paths need to, they are, uh, they are not exactly in the same no. as a partner, but because they are not in the same, they bring experiences that allows the, each path to be unique. And that's, uh, I totally uh, resonate with what you're saying because this is uh, the particular characteristic of this uh, operating system, of this hologram called Earth. Earth is differently from other experiences that we can choose as soul, is a transformational center based on div diversity mm -hmm. and uniqueness. Mm -hmm. And so uh, in many other operating systems, more or less everybody moved towards the same in the same manner they're all together community going together um here is like everybody has their own sp speed <laughs> their own color their own frequencies uh some are slower faster higher lower it's just a, a traffic jam of <laughs> of different yes. Uh, yes. different expression and and that makes um the soul very excited because in this uh, operating system, the soul can really, really go deep into his own uniqueness, mm -hmm. like probably not in no other operating system, mm -hmm. at least that I remember of. Yeah, um, no, no. And that as you, for me was difficult to understand this. That's why also I was mentioned before, it's like, oh, what if I'm going to, why don't you see what I see? You know, it's like, uh, why don't why you take that decision? If because they don't, something sometimes you see other things, and they see another things, and they see what they need to do for take that decision, and that took me also that that was a, a lot of frustration and a lot of misunderstanding and a lot of judgment. Till I say, oh, look how beautiful everything. Oh, everything is going. But it's still in synchronicity. They say, oh, that, 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 that was, that was, Leah, like you say, it was hard. Yeah. Because I could not, it's like, ah, I cannot understand this. <laughs> and when I was able to, to, to really feel it, because not just see it, to feel it, like, oh. Oh, and then I can breathe in it, you see, and say, yes. And then when we talk about, well, you know, we just cross path. There's a reason. I'm going to suggest this if it feels right. But I'm not going to try to pluck you into my own path. I'm not going to try to pull you to advance faster. I'm not going to try to the, oh, come to, no. It's like, we just cross path here. Tell me, share with me, what, what are you doing there? I'm sharing you. And maybe we stay for a while together, maybe not. You know, it's, let's keep on the path, on your unique path. And this is for me is, instead of concentrating how the others should come to this path and losing a lot of energy, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I'm going to concentrate of enjoying my own unique path and allow things to happen. Yeah. And also we need to understand that uh, the matrix uh, is designed to cause a reaction on us. Mm -hmm. So it is how we manage our reaction that truly matter. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the matrix uh, constantly is reading our stream of thoughts, of feeling, of emotions, of uh, of action, of, of what we believe, and based on the, on that, it, it gave us a reality. All right. So that is is some sort of a test in a way that give us an opportunity to see ourselves and learn to respond because is our attitude towards our circumstances 
that makes the the, the learning the experience mm -hmm. uh, how we respond to reality because reality always come uh, neutral mm -hmm. uh, is the way how we respond that creates the reality so this tied up very much to what we have been saying so far because um, uh, once we understand and uh, and we fundamentally we need to learn to monitor constantly our vibration yes. that's what it's all about it's constantly monitoring our vibration and and then uh make sure that our co that when if we feel bad for example we don't fight it because what we resist it persists right yeah, so okay. we don't fight it we just accept it we allow it and we learn from it so that we can uh uh not control our emotions, but uh, guide our emotion. Uh, shape the mastery. Our I call it the mastery of the emotions. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. also, it's a, it's. A, I feel uh, what you're saying for me, it's um, not allowing just to react, because those things when when it happened, then they happen, but to start masterfully taking conscious decisions, conscious actions. And that's, ex yeah. it requires, that's monitoring what you're saying. So stop just, uh, and it's like you say, it's going to still happen, but then be aware. Oh, I just react. <laughs> you know, it was like, Ching! and for me, uh, fun, you need to have fun at this, you know, instead yeah. of judging and uh, I just react. And I was like, I just react, uh oh, <laughs> you know, and have fun with it. And don't worry, you're going to have opportunity to pass it again. And then suddenly, and I think it's, I don't know, I don't know you, uh, Marco, but me, suddenly a situation come where normally we'll react this way. And suddenly I consciously decide to act differently. And there's so much joy in me. It's like, oh, this is nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. Because yeah. then uh, that is past, and so the next wave of creation will not bring that uh, challenges anymore, will mm -hmm. not test you anymore because you passed that. And so mm -hmm. now new possibilities are exactly are in you, but before we are not. Exactly. Right? Exactly. That's why many people sometimes get frustrated because they declare what they wish, and then sometimes they get big uh, challenging. Uh, um, uh, responses from life but yes. of course if i decide that i want 10 uh, life says well you got a three four and seven to resolve <laughs> before you can get to 10 so here we yes. go i'll give you all this stuff on three seven and five yes. to resolve yes. you can get yes. there you know yes. and some people uh, make the mistake to feel um discouraged uh, by that they feel yes. oh my god i just i i, I the I, universe I, don't love me <laughs> quite the opposite quite the uh, opposite i agree it's like i remember i remember when uh when i was a child um there was a, a, a lovely aquarium uh in the house uh and i would uh, spend hours to look at the fishes mm -hmm. and and the water and uh, and it seems very clean the aquarium, very transparent. So there was a beautiful light. It was a lot of colors. There was a lot of plants. A little, little tropical fish with were very beautiful. However, when my mom would uh, come and move some stuff around the aquarium, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all of a sudden, all this mud would come to the surface, right? Yes. So I would, I would say, well, it wasn't so clean as I thought. <laughs> right? Yes, that's a very good example. Right. So that's what is happening. So we um, we think that we are clean and then we dare into uh, <laughs> whatever is our narrative. And of course, we shake our aquarium. The aquarium shows, reveal itself for all the things that needs to be cleaned. Uh, so bring to the surface all the darkness that before was 
uh, not seeable. We could not monitor it because it was uh, hidden behind the, you know, the bottom of the of the aquarium in this analogy. And that's what's happening quite very much in the world right now. Absolutely. You know, all the all the the dust that's what of, happened. The right. aqu aquarium was shaked. <laughs> right, really big shake, and so all of a sudden we thought we have a very clean aquarium, and we realized that it wasn't. It was far from being clean. It actually was yes, quite yes. dirty. And so now we have to see all this dirt and uh, and make a choice. What are we going to do? Are we going to clean it or we are going to let it sit back and pretend it doesn't exist? Exactly, exactly. And and I know you or me, I'm asking for evolving and ascending. I have the feeling you do the same. Yeah. And there are many others too. And suddenly we got this situation on the planet that it's helping us to do so. And yeah, it's uncomfortable to see the aquarium <laughs> dirty. <laughs> yeah. And because it's the, it shows, it lies up the personal aquarium and the collective aquarium, yeah. and they're both dirty. So it needs cleansing, but that's responding for what I'm asking, evolving and ascending individually as a planet. So... Uh, sometimes I ask people the, the same. I have a lot of people that they say, yeah, but if I'm asking and then it's coming and I say, well, then then be coherent also. It's also valid. You know, if you say, I don't want to evolve and ascend, perfect. Right. Then you're going to keep doing this. But if you want something else, but you don't want to do the sa changes that requires, yeah. this is what is going to be challenging. So uh, it's also valid. Stop asking to evolve and ascend, for example. Yeah. Then leave it. It's valid. But take responsibility for whatever it is that you ask for, for your uh, decisions and your creations. Yeah, and that's the maturity consciousness. We eventually, we all get there our own time. But right now we got a collective where there is a, quite a big chunk of the collective that wants just to, nobody to shake the aquarium. <laughs> and so that we pretend that everything is fine <laughs> and is clean. And yes. there are a few that say, no, let's shake it more so we can get rid of the stuff and we can have an aquarium that is really incredibly yes. full of light and colors. Yes. Right, yes. so that's the division right now that is occurring. Yes. Uh, yeah. And that's take us back to the beginning of this uh, transmission where we said that as you move uh, higher your frequencies, you project yourself, your vibrational offer become a, 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 a vehicle that uh, transcends you to a, 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 a version of the aquarium that is cleaner. Yes. And a version of aquarium where maybe water has another substitute. And then you will be able to see new kind of fish. Then you're going to be right. able to see new kind of uh, minerals. You're going to yes. be able to hear, so, you know, this is for me the exciting. Yes. Yeah, I have to go through the cleaning, but a new aquarium is waiting for us. The new yes. version, which is going to be cleaner. And for sure, it yes. might get dirty again. And we're going to have to shake it if you want to keep moving. That's of part course. of the process. Yeah, but that, um, the fact is that the more you go higher, uh, the more the, uh, yes. the dualistic aspect it gets softer, right? Yes. yes. So, of course, there is always ongoing evolutionary pattern because that's what makes the whole journey fun. Uh, but eventually, we will won't have to uh, deal anymore with this really very contracted situation yes. i mean we really are at the bottom here i mean we are into the satanic uh, darkness you know so <laughs> we're really getting to you know, i really and... love that thing because i could really see it you know the shaking of the aquarium is like <laughs> yeah i get it this... and everybody tried to look at the other way you know yeah it's like let me move <laughs> right yeah, somehow it's like let me get out of, let me jump out of this aquarium you know, yeah. and it's it's all the kind of solutions or let me send this fish to clear it up for me <laughs> instead of doing right. myself. It's like, who comes? Who can I contract to come and clean my <laughs> my right. aquarium? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So uh, that's that's uh, what is happening right now. And uh, but it's good because uh, at least finally this uh, again, aquarium is being shaken because before it was a whole pretending, 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 yes. and 
um, now we can really uh, dive into the physical experience uh, mm. for what really is, which we haven't uh, had the real physical experience in the last 10,000 years because yes. we have been uh, with an avatar that is like 95% shut down. <laughs> we have an ego that is constantly creating past and future and contraction and separation. Uh, we have um, a, a world that is uh, full of uh, all these, um, you know, uh, very, very low frequencies, uh, addiction. And so now finally we are shaking it uh, so that we can make a choice, at least become mm -hmm. aware and make a responsible choice, the ability to respond, to mm -hmm. respond, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, I think, is very, very exciting. Uh, Personally, I've been waiting for this since I was three years old. <laughs> oh, it's coming, Marco. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's no, but it, it, it is it is perfect uh, as it is even now. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying every moment. I I am uh, not able anymore to project the future. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I noticed in the last uh, few months, maybe a couple of years, no, maybe one year, uh, that I, it's hard for me to to even say what I'm going to do two weeks from now. And that's perfectly fine for me. I have no problem with it. Actually, I like it. I love it. It's nice. It's an adventure. It becomes really an adventure. Yeah. I agree. Beautiful. OK, I think we already passed the hour almost. <laughs> well, OK, so uh, this was another lovely uh, interaction. Yes. Uh, as usual, I enjoy it very much, and I always learn from it. Uh, yeah. So thank you, Lily, and thank mm -hmm. you all for uh, for being with us. Um, and I guess we will uh, see each other in the next transmission, probably in, in a couple of weeks or three weeks, so whatever is going to be. I cannot make a future. So. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marco. Thank you, Lily. Thank you. I love you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.